What's up guys, it's a long way to return of the Doggy Dog 52 and I'm back with my first vid. Um, it's my first ever ID vid I think that I've done. Um, it's going to be, as you can see from the title, the Fly Net Lunar 2. Um, so as you can tell with IDs now, they all come in this black box. Um, I've got NikeID.com, a swoosh, a swoosh and a swoosh. Um, so these have been worn, I'm not doing this as sort of like as soon as I got them. Um, but that's the sneakers right there. So let me just pull them out. Put them up here. So yeah, this is your Flying at Lunar 2. Uh, an incredible, incredible sneaker. So um, what's amazing about Flying at is when you make the shoe, there's very little waste. Um, it's all made of a polyester yarn. Um, but there's going to be open areas and also um, sort of more structured areas and also more stretchy areas. Um, within the shoe, um, so um, it's a, a fantastic shoe and if anyone you know was unsure about purchasing a pair of these, highly recommended from myself. Um, so uh, we'll start off with the outsole, um, so we've got BRS 1000 rubber around the heel here, um, so that's especially in high weight areas, it's going to allow you to sort of uh, maintain the shoe when you go on longer runs and you really start sort of getting your miles in. Um, and this is a sort of new thing that's on the sneaker right here. It's data and form pressure mapping. So it's looking to give you the, the best support uh, and the best cushion in the areas you need it. So they found um, through research that this was the area you needed it most. Um, so it's basically around the balls of your foot uh, and during toe off. So again, uh, your main area. So in terms of when you're running, when you land in this area. So when you land like this, now it's say you roll to the end and then when you push off, you usually tend to push off. Uh, around here, so again we're going to have BRS 1000 here and also here um, and we have a newly um, designed Lunar Lawn midsole um, which really, really helped uh, during the compression so when you're running and it's compressing down this helped to give you the best sort of a spring back if you will um, the colour on this if anyone was curious I've gone for glacier blue on the bottom um, and it's purple, fading into a teal colour on the midsole. I've gone for the all black upper, purple swoosh, purple laces, um, purple on the uh, inside. Uh, I've gone for teal on the back and you have your 3M hitch right here. Uh, and on the tongue where it normally says Nike, like you guys see, it says my name, Nathan. And then on this one it says Lisa, my fiance. Um, so yeah, I really really can't talk um, enough about this shoe and how amazing it is. Um, I absolutely love it. And um, perhaps the coolest thing for me is when they were engineering this material, um, they made like these little tunnels here, uh, and that was where they were able to feed um, the fly wire through. Um, so it really gave it a strong structural point. Um, and the fly wire, as you can see, is on both sides. Um, and it really really does help to give you that locked in fit. Um, as you can see, this shoe is super breathable. I mean, when I put it on, you'll see wear. Um, so you've got lots of sort of like perforations around this area, around the toe, on the tongues, all breathable, and it's really really stretchy on the tongue. So one of the main upgrades from the Flynet Lunar Two to the One, aside from the outsole, is that the, the tongue um, is actually attached. But a lot of runners found that the tongue would slip down here or going down here, and it really just wouldn't be comfortable. Another thing they did was, it seems super super simple, is to add another eyelet. So this eyelet right here that I have at least all the way up to, this one didn't exist in the, the Flying Out Lunar 1. They added this on the 2 and it was purely through um, finding out that a lot of people were just using like a nail punch and hammering another one in. So they just gave um, the people what they want I guess and gave them uh, another eyelet. Um, Another difference being the type of lace they used. They found that the lace in the previous model, the Flying Out Lunar 1, um, would come untied quite often. Um, so they looked to change the lace a little bit. Uh, and I must admit, I've not noticed through wearing this for quite a while um, that there's been no issues with the laces coming untied whatsoever. Um, the shoe is also super, super light. Uh, it's coming in at 255 grams or 9 ounces in a men's size 10, so a US 10, a UK 9. Um, so that's amazing um, how light this shoe is and I really you can't see it through the video but obviously this shoe is super light and it's super super comfortable. Um, one thing through personal experience I found was in the heel it's much harder than the previous model. It does have the fit sole insole in it so it's going to conform to the shape of your foot. However, 
through personal experience, I've found it was a little bit hard. So what I did was I teamed it up with some elite cushion socks and I found that that really took it away. Um, both from just casual wear to also going to run in them also. Um, so it, it's a phenomenal shoe. Um, I love my idea how it came out. I love the glacier blue on the bottom because it's something you don't see every day. It's usually white or black as you, you probably know. Um, so it was great to have that. Um, so I'll give you one last sort of coral round of the shoe before I stick it on feet. Um, but yeah, phenomenal shoe, can't talk about it enough, um, especially on Nike ID, there's some amazing things on it. And it's also cheaper than the Flyknit Lunar 1, which is sweet. Um, and you can do some really cool options with it. I'm just going to take the paper out as I get ready to stick these on. Um, it's really an awesome, awesome shoe. Um, and with on Nike ID, like the, the options that you have are awesome. I went for the all black. Um, didn't really fancy grey because I just thought it would be easier to keep black clean. Um, so I went for the all black and if anyone kind of doesn't follow me on Instagram, my inspiration for this colourway was the uh, newly renamed Charlotte Bobcats or the Charlotte Hornets now. So that was the inspiration, hence the purple and the sort of a teal colour. Um, so I know the teal, there isn't loads of teal, it's just kind of here and in the back tab. But still, um, that was my inspiration and a, a phenomenal shoe. Uh, enough talking, I'm just going to put these on feet and let you guys see how they look. So here we go guys, this is them on feet, so this is them a side view, a front view, other side and a back. Now you're looking here, you'll probably really be able to see, you can see the white sock coming through. So I did that on portrait just so it kind of a highlights exactly where it's breathable. Uh, and as you can see, got my IDs on the tongue, so my name on this one, if you want to say on this one. Um, but in all honesty, super super comfortable shoe. Um, Wear it all day. Before I get out of here, anyone who's sort of familiar with my channel will know um, I do my shout outs. So I've got my phone, I've got my list, and I'm going to jump right in right now if, um, to my shout out list. So right now we are at 55 members on 55 names in the shout out list. So first up, Horse Eddie. Salute to him as always. Uh, he always holds me down. He was uh, one of my biggest supporters, so massive shout outs to him. Next up, it's uh, the Team Smell Good fan, um, Ike Bezel. Again, he is the reason I do these videos. I know I say it every time, but he genuinely is. So thank you again for uh, telling me to do these vids. Um, the Sneaker Addict, aka, D AKA DJ Dells. Uh, we've got Black Santa 24, who is the Closet Collectors. I believe he's changed his name, so I'm going to need to update that. Uh, Franilations, JJ Jumpman 23, JSTAR 25, Parametric 99, Dovestep Slap 415, uh, the big homie over in uh, Detroit, salute as always to my soul brother, Jumpman Bostick, Laidback 365, Sticky 213, uh, Nice Kicks, store over in Austin, Texas, D63SX5, Crazy Blackman 108, Zaya X, Just for Kicks 212, uh, Damn Erica, that Sugar OK, The King of Performance Reviews, uh, Nightwing2303 Snookerfiles.com Jukos Terrible The Game 59 Say What You See 666 The Simp Jam My boy Alan from Glasgow uh, My homie from down in London No Mosaic Logan J Bass Sam Colt Whose username is 3TVID Shout out to DJ Hess As always D On Hess Kicks uh, DJ Drama 5 Danishi Johnson Swag On Haters Out Optimus P517 T Blake Uh one Veracity, Flight School Shoes, Mr. Former Simpson, uh, Drawing Skills, Heart and Souls, DMV Sneakers, uh, Guns and Gloves, A Bathing Astronaut 23, Cyclo Kicks 23, MRJ UNC 23, Yo IB365, Mr. Nike SB6, Bullet RC, The Real Ray Ray 20, shout out to DJ Ski and everything he's doing on Ski TV, uh, London Nagasa, shout out to you as well, Ray Fizzy, Casey Towsley, Davidson Aberdeen, and Terry Ferran. As always, um, anyone who wants to be added to the shout out list, just drop a comment um, right, right down here. Um, you'll be added to the shout out list, no problem, as long as you ask kindly. Um, before I get out of here, if you want to sort of keep up to date with exactly what I'm doing, I'm, I'm really, really bad right now at putting out vids, I'm really, really slow. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put out one every day for the next probably two weeks or a little bit more. Um, so again, if you, if you like this vid, then be sure to, ch to tune in tomorrow when I, I post another one and going forward, uh, subscribe to the channel of course, uh, and if you'd like to kind of speak with me, see what I'm up to, 
uh, sort of a more, I tend to be on Instagram and Twitter a little bit more than I am YouTube, which is bad, I know. Uh, but certainly follow me, um, it's going to appear right here. Uh, the username is at NathanKerr20, uh, you're unsure of the spelling, right here. Uh, also use my hashtags, so um, for the homie T Blake, use his hashtag. Uh, for myself, for NateDoggyDog52, it's hashtag NDD52, uh, hashtag SneakerFanWorldwide also. Uh, and of course, um, stay tuned um, for more upcoming content. I'm going to try and improve my vids every time and make them better um, through feedback also. So thanks very much for checking this out. Uh, be sure to subscribe, be sure to follow me, and I'll see you in the next vid. Peace out.